All right, for this example, um, I'm just going to set this up at first, okay? So this is the equation for what's called the parallax. P here stands for the parallax. It's an angle. Um, I'll draw a little picture in a little bit in just a moment. Um, so, so the distance is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi, right? That's just a constant, um, times the baseline, um, which is, you know, it's like, it's like um, what, if you ever see people on the side of the road doing surveying, um, that this is actually what the equation is. Um, so they, they measure a baseline and then they measure the angle to some distant object. And, um, you know, sometimes it's not, you know, it, it would be really difficult, um, the terrain or whatever, to uh, measure the distance from one place to another. And so this, this has been used literally for thousands of years. All right. So anyhow, uh, you measure the baseline and then you measure the angle, the parallax. All right. So the distance is going to be whatever the units of the baseline is. Um, so, you know, some, it's usually in meters or kilometers. I mean, it could be in miles as well, but, um, you know, for science stuff, generally it's meters and kilometers. Um, the baseline, you, you, that's something you measure. And then the parallax, um, you have to, it has to be in degrees. All right, so I'm going to set up a problem. Um, let me draw a picture too first, and then we'll, we'll talk about it. All right, so here's a drawing of what I'm talking about, okay? So, you you know, a person would go and measure the baseline. The X here, um, or this dot, is the, is the distant object that we're trying to measure. We're trying to measure this distance right here along. Okay, so the, let me write a D here. So this is the distance. Oops. Let's, let's do that. This is the distance that you're trying to measure. All right, so... so um, you know, maybe this is a river or something like that. It doesn't really matter, right? The, the idea is you measure this um, relatively small baseline relative to, you know, the, the, this distance. Um, you measure the baseline. So you measure from here to here. Um, and and you always, you always want to set it up so that there's a right angle, right? 90 degrees right here. Um, and and uh, this angle right here, here, let me draw a picture this this angle of course it says p this angle right here is the um is the parallax okay so in in the equation um you know right there on the right that's that's the parallax but the the actual thing like if you were a surveyor um you're actually measuring this angle just to let you guys know that that's the actual angle that you'd measure and then you'd use the fact that the interior angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees um, we we actually have a lab where we do this kind of thing where you measure this angle and then you calculate what the parallax is. Um, all right, so 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 you use you use this equation. Remember, um, the, so you you know in these kind of problems you're always just given what the parallax is. You just have to make sure that it's in degrees. All right, so so we have a couple other things. Um, we we know that one degree. All right, so I'll, I'll draw it like this. One degree, the little superscripted circle to the um, to, to the right means a degree. So one degree is what we call 60 um, arc minutes. Arc. arc minute, that's supposed to be an M, sorry. Arc minutes, which of course can also be written as 60 with a single hash mark. You, you, typically you'll see people writing it like that. Um, and then uh, one arc minute, one arc minute, arc minute, see it's, it's just kind of a pain to write this, uh, oh, I, I, I shouldn't have done that actually, I wrote two, two things at this, here, let me erase that for, for right now, um, so, so one arc minute of course means one arc minute um, is the equivalent of what we, of 60, um, what are called arc seconds, arc seconds all right and that of course can be written 60 and then you do this double ha these two hash marks and that means 60 arc seconds um all right so 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 those those two things are the conversions um that we use to, to you know if something was in um 
arc minutes and arc seconds, uh, you can you can simply use this to convert it to degrees. Um, all right. So, so you know, one 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 thing that I always talk about as far as an analogy to this, it would be, for example, you know, let's say um, you know you know that uh, the length of something was was three feet seven inches or some you know something like that. Um, and you had to, and you had to figure out, you know, uh, how many yards it was, right? So, so you know, there's an equivalent, you know, you know how many, uh, how many feet are in a yard, you know, how many inches are in uh, a foot, and and so that that that's the that's the idea of this um, arc minutes and arc seconds. So you, you just you know think about um, angles, you know, one degree, uh, like in the sky is actually a pretty pretty big angle. Um, uh, that's about, so for example, the full moon. So if you looked at the full moon, that's about um, half a degree, 0.5 degrees, which of course would be 30 arc minutes. Right? Um, and then the human eye can, can just by itself without a telescope can see down to about one arc minute, um, you know, the average human eye. And um, with with a telescope or binoculars, you can see down to um, down to arc seconds, and you definitely need a telescope uh, to see down to like one arc second. Um, of course, the, the the professional telescopes out there can see down to to you know milli arc seconds. Um, anyhow, uh, that's that's a different story. All right, so so we'll, I'm going to set up my uh, example. So I'll, I'll give you the baseline and the parallax, and we'll figure out the distance to the object. So just keep this picture in mind. Um, we're we're me we're going to be measuring. You know, let's say I, I set up the baseline. And I guess I could just come up with it right now. Um, so so the baseline. Let's say the baseline was oh I don't know how about uh, how about nine nine hundred and 32, 932 um, kilometers. I mean, that, that's a good baseline. Uh, that's a three right there, 932 kilometers. And let's say that the parallax, okay, so this is where it's going to get a little bit um, interesting because we're going to have to do some conversions. The, the parallax will be, um, oh, what am I going to do? How about, uh, how about uh, seven? Um, seven arc minutes and um, and uh, forty two arc seconds. So that's the angle. Okay. So this whole thing. So it's it that is the angle. All right. So so we have to we have to um, convert that, and I will do that in in just a moment. All right, so we'll uh, do this problem. Um, remember, we're, we're looking for the distance d. Right? So it's, we're going to look for the distance d um, is question mark. And of course, the distance will be in the same units as the baseline. So the distance will come out in kilometers, right? Because the baseline's in kilometers. Um, all right, so, so the thing that we have to work on is the parallax. This is not in degrees. It's in arc minutes and arc seconds, but we can change that, all right? So here we go. So the parallax is equal to, so it's seven arc minutes, and then you do this conversion, right? The way we normally do conversions is, of course, one degree is 60 arc minutes, right? So that will cancel, right, you know, it'll cancel the, the arc minutes, uh, and, and plus, uh, 42 arc seconds, right? So that's going to be 42 arc seconds. And so you do the same kind of thing. You say, all right, well, one arc minute is 60 arc seconds, right? And so the arc seconds cancel. I know that looks a little funny, but, um, and then you, you have, you still have to change the, de the arc minutes to, um, to degrees. So one degree is 60 arc minutes, all right? And so, of course, the arc minutes will cancel. All right, um, here, let's do that just for completeness. All right, so I have my calculator. Let's see, where's my calculator? Uh, right here. All right, so, so you know, this is just 7 divided by 60 um, and then plus 42 divided by 60 squared. 
And that's that's the way you do this. Okay, so it's really simple. Uh, I mean, it's simple, you know, as anything is uh, once you know how to do it. So seven divided by sixty. All right, and then you say plus. Um, so it's going to be a number, um, you know, just a little bit bigger than this. Okay, so so then you know this forty-two um, arc seconds is just a really tiny amount. So plus forty-two. And you divide it by 60 squared. Okay, so this there's there's a squared button. All right, and then you say equal. All right, so there it is. So that's the angle in degrees. I'm gonna go uh, three places past the decimal. All right, so my parallax, you know, I gotta have a little room to, to write this, is I just went away. What was it? One point, all right, sorry, point one two. 0.128, so 0, 0, 0.128, all right, in degrees, right, because that, that has changed it in degrees. And then, and then um, here, so we have enough room to write the rest of it, so the, the, the distance to this object is going to be, so remember, it's 180 over pi, it's 180 degrees, by the way, so the degrees are going to cancel, divided by pi, um, all right, so 180 uh, divided by pi, uh, and then times the baseline, which was, oh, here it is right here. So not, not times 900 and uh, 32, 32, of course, kilometers, because that's the answer is going to be coming in kilometers. And then we divide by 0 0.128. All right, degrees, and of course the degrees cancel, um, and so that'll just give us an answer in kilometers. Pi is just a pure number. All right, so here, let's do this quickly before my 15 minutes runs out. Um, this is like a free version of this thing, so anyhow. Um, I, actually, I'm just going to use this number right here, okay? So, um, so it's going to be 180, 180 uh, divided by pi where's my pi button oh, there it is 180 divided by pi and then of course uh so that equals um you know it, it, in the book they tell you that it, you know it's approximately 57.3 just just use this in your calculator um and then times uh nine nine thirty two and then divided by um point one two eight Point one two eight, and that's the, of course, the approximate angle, um, and so this is going to be our distance, all right? So um, this thing turns out to be um, uh, about twice the distance to the moon. So maybe this is, you know, some some passing asteroid or something. I, I mean, it doesn't matter what it actually is, but anyhow, here let me write the answer. So it would be four hundred and seventeen thousand. Oops. 417,000, uh, I didn't look at what the other digits were, um, 184, point, and we'll just go with one place past the decimal, 184.9, so 184, 184, 184.9 kilometers. All right, so there's an example of how you do parallax. All right, so remember, you, me you measure the baseline, um, or somebody's measured the baseline, and then, um, you know, you, you ma just make sure that the, that the angle is in degrees, all right? And so there's, you know, converting it, um, you know, it's, it's, you don't, you're not always, you don't always have the situation where, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're given the, you know, this combination of, of arc minutes and arc seconds, but, um, this this is probably the most complicated it would be. Um, I, I guess, yeah, I mean, you know, if it was, let, let's say it was degrees, and so, so it could say, you know, you, you could have an angle like um, degrees and arc minutes and arc seconds. Um, and so, you know, you don't change the degree one, but you'd have to change the arc minutes and the arc seconds. All right, very good. And I think that's the end of the video.
Very nice.